hello dear engineering students i welcome you all again into my channel hope you are all doing well so in this video i will be discussing the modified euler's method in the previous uh, lectures we have discussed the taylor series method in order to solve the differential equations so this is the another method to solve differential equations so usually uh, initial value problems okay as uh, in the taylor series method i have told you in each and every problem there will, there will be uh, initial condition given y of x naught is equal to y naught this is the initial condition in taylor series also and modified euler's method see here consider uh, initial value problem dy by dx is equal to f of x comma y so in the question there will be function which will be in terms of x and y it will be given and initial conditions will also be given over here okay so y of x naught is equal to y naught this is called as initial condition uh, to find y at x so in the questions you have to find y at x this x may be anything 0 0.1 0 0.2 or any number okay so you have to actually find y at any value uh, let us see suppose this is x1 or x2 or x3 like that okay so you have to find y at x1 which will be equal to y1 similar to the initial condition see it is y of x0 is equal to y0 here we are finding y at x1 is equal to y1 so hope it is clear to you where this x1 so where this x1 value is given by x0 plus h where h is called the step size okay this h is called the step size so this is the formula for this x1 okay at which you have to find out the y value y at x1 so this x1 is equal to x0 plus h h is called the step size so see here there are only two steps in this uh, Euler's method first of all you have to apply Euler's formula given by y1 naught is equal to y naught plus h of f of x naught comma y naught so function will be in terms of first x naught comma y naught this is called as initial approximation okay so you no need to uh, remember the formula also as i earlier we told you in the Taylor series method uh, the formulas will be given in your data handbook so you can also remember these formulas by practicing varieties of questions and it will save your time as far as examinations are concerned okay so y1 naught is equal to y naught plus h of f of x naught comma y naught it is called as initial approximation and next step we have apply modified euler's formula successfully uh, to obtain better approximations for y1 simply there is a difference between euler's method and modified euler's method euler method will give you the approximate answers okay while as modified euler's will give you the accurate answer so it has the better accuracy than euler's formula over there okay or euler's method so in most of the questions students get uh, confused uh, is it the first stage problem or second stage we will see later on once we solve the problems you will come to know what is the first stage problem or second stage problem okay see here a modified euler's formula is given by y11 is equal to y0 plus h upon 2 f of x0 comma y0 plus f of x1 comma y1 not y1 2 is equal to y0 plus h by 2 f of x0 comma y0 plus f of x1 comma y1 1 y1 3 is equal to y0 plus h by 2 f of x0 comma y0 plus f of x1 comma y1 2 see here you are observing one thing first of all once you go through y1 not you will calculate this value in the first step so here you have to put that particular value right next one once you calculate uh, this y11 you have to put this y11 value here f of x1 comma y11 1 once you calculate y12 you have to put down this y12 here f of x1 comma y1 2 hope you are getting my point these formulas also you no need to remember it will be given in your handbook now let's solve a question so that uh, it will give you the clarity of how exactly we have to solve the questions see here it is the question using modified Euler's method find y at x is equal to 0 0.1 given dy by dx is equal to 3x plus y by 2 y of 0 is equal to 1 this is called as initial condition you have to find y at x is equal to 0 1 so what was in the definition itself that find y at x1 is equal to y1 okay so this is find y at x is equal to 0 0.1 given the differential equation which is in terms of f of x comma y see here in the method itself dy by dx is equal to f of x comma y so this is the function given here y of 0 is equal to 1 this is called as initial condition and h is equal to step size so step size is also given in this question over here okay now let us solve this particular question first of all write down the given data we have differential equation this and this is called as initial condition means y of 0 is equal to 1 this zero is nothing but x naught see here y of x naught is equal to y naught this is initial condition instead of x naught we have here zero so x naught is equal to zero 
and this one y of x naught is equal to y naught so instead of y naught we have one i can write down this as y naught is equal to one this is given also h is equal to 0 0.1 it is given and you have to find at x is equal to 0 0.1 now in the first step itself apply Euler's formula given by y1 naught is equal to y naught plus h f of x naught comma y naught so this f of x naught y naught is not given we have to calculate this this simply means we have to represent the given function this given function this is the given function we have to represent this function in terms of x naught comma y naught i can write down here dy upon dx is equal to three times instead of x we have to take x naught plus instead of y you have to take y naught by two so this is called as function in terms of x naught comma y naught okay hope this is clear now put down the values three times x naught x naught value is nothing but zero plus y naught value is one so one divided by two three multiplied by zero is zero plus one by two so you are getting one by two means zero point five you are getting function of x naught comma y naught this is your value right now i will apply this euler's formula now apply euler's formula euler's formula y1 naught is equal to y naught plus h of f of x naught comma y naught right so what is the value given y1 naught is equal to y naught value is nothing but one so why not i can write down here one plus h is step size that is 0 0.1 multiplied by f of x naught comma y naught we have calculated f of x naught comma y naught is nothing but 0 0.5 so we can write down here 1 plus 0 0.1 multiplied by 0 0.5 see here 0 0.1 multiplied by 0 0.5 which is equal to 0 0.05 so this is 0 0.05 you are getting y1 naught is equal to 1.5 1 plus 0 0.05 is nothing but 1 plus 0. Point, sorry 1.05 this is your y1 naught value now what we have to apply modified Euler's formula see here i can write down step 2 this is your step 2 apply modified Euler's formula apply modified Euler's formula see it is in the question perform two iterations only we have to proceed for two iterations means y11 and y12 we have to find out that will be your final answer for this particular question right so first of all i will calculate y11 so y11 is equal to y naught plus h upon 2 y naught plus h upon 2 f of x naught comma y naught plus f of x1 comma y1 naught right y11 is equal to y naught value is given in the problem that is 1 right so 1 plus h value is also 0 0.1 divided by 2 f of x naught y naught we have calculated that is 0 0.5 now here most of the students get confused okay it will be solved in the calci also you can solve it without calci so without calci is the easiest method and i will suggest to you you just follow this method over here okay that is f of x1 comma y1 you consider this function in terms of x1 and y1 naught so function is given see here 3x plus y by 2 we have to take instead of this x x1 instead of y we have to take y1 naught see here we have x1 and y1 naught simply you have to place these x1 comma y1 value in the given function that is dy by dx is equal to see here now i will write down here uh, dy by dx is equal to instead of x we have to take 3x1 plus instead of y we have to take y1 naught y1 naught we have to take right this is called as function in terms of x1 comma y1 not hope you are following my point now function is 3x1 plus y1 not divided by 2 sorry this is in the question y by 2 so y1 not divided by 2 right so put down this value here now f of x1 comma y1 not 
we have to take this equation that is 3 times x1 plus y1 naught divided by 2. Now put down the values accordingly. y11 is equal to 1 plus 0 0.1 divided by 2 0 0.5 plus 3 times x1 value. What is the x1 value? See here in the definition of itself x1 is equal to x0 plus h. So I can write down here on the side that is x0 is equal to sorry x1 is equal to x0 plus h. So x1 is equal to what is the x0 value? It is given in the problem that is 0 plus h value is nothing but 0 0.1. So 0 0.1 x1 is equal to 0 0.1 so x1 is equal to 0 0.1 okay this is the final value for x1 you can put down now here 3 into 3x1 x instead of x1 you have to take 0 0.1 plus y1 naught divided by 2 so y1 naught we have calculated 1.05 so 1.05 divided by 2 y11 put down these all values in the KLC you will get the required answer so that is what 1 plus 0.1 divided by 2 multiplied by 0.5 plus 3 multiplied by 0.1 plus 1.05 divided by 2 sorry this is your division mode that is 1.05 divided by 2 and bracket close you will get the answer as 1.066 1.06625 is where y11 now you have to calculate y12 so y12 is equal to just make a box in the examination also okay so that the examiner will check your correct answers so y12 we have here formula that is y0 plus h upon 2 f of x0 comma y0 plus f of x1 comma y11 okay so this is where y11 is the formula for y12 so y12 is equal to y0 value so y0 value is 1 plus h value is 0 0.1 divided by 2 f of x0 y0 we have calculated that is 0 0.5 so 0 0.5 plus f of x1 comma y11 now you have to consider the given equation in terms of x1 comma y1 see here the given equation was dy by dx 3x plus y by 2 instead of x you have to take x1 so 3x1 plus instead of y you have to take this y11 so instead of y i will take here y11 divided by 2 this is where f of x1 comma y11 right hope you are getting my point this is called as function in terms of x1 comma y11 put down these values in the given equation is instead of x you have to take x1 instead of y you have to take y11 okay now uh, write down this equation here plus 3 times x1 instead of f of x1 comma y11 you can write down 3x1 plus y11 divided by 2 right now you can write down y12 is equal to 1 plus 0 0.1 divided by 2 0 0.5 plus 3 times x1 value is nothing but 0 0.1 plus y11 divided by 2 so y11 we have calculated 1.0662 divided by 2 put down these values in the calc you will get the required answer for y12 over here so 1 plus division mode 0.1 divided by 2 bracket start 0.5 plus 3 multiplied by 0.1 plus division mode 1.06625 divided by 2 and bracket close which is equal to 1.0665 so y12 is equal to 1.0665 okay so you are getting y12 value as 1.0665 so now you can recognize which problem is this this is called as first stage problem when you are getting different values at different iterations so that is called as first stage problem so in the next video we will solve the two stage problem where we will get same answers in the two iterations or three iterations 
uh, then we have to follow another stage we have to take different initial conditions in order to proceed for the modified Euler's method okay so in the next video we will try to understand the two stage problem this is all about the first stage problem and it was simple and in the question it was given you have to perform only two iterations okay so the method is simple you have to just uh, memorize the formula and try to practice varieties of problems on this particular concept that is first stage modified Euler's method i hope you have understood this problem very well make sure you will share this video to all your friends and batchmates thank you